uh, Tinder Bravissimo, his bar name is Whiskers. There's a long story about that. But anyway, um, we came in on Tuesday. We were contemplating coming in on Monday because he's a green, spooky young horse, and I didn't really feel like I could be away for a week from my business. And yeah. so we came down on Tuesday, and um, I was really happy Tuesday afternoon. He worked and he hacked around, and he seemed really not very fussed by the whole environment. And then um, I've been riding with Silver Martin on the flat. Mm -hmm. And so I went over sort of what we had been going over and sort of what the key points were. And um, I have a great assistant in Sydney Bachman, and we sort of read, you know, she read what I had written down, and we did the dressage on, what was it, Wednesday morning? Yeah. <laughs> and it uh, seems like a long time ago. And um, she gave me some pointers right before I went in the ring, and he was as good as I could have asked him to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't have asked him to do really anything differently. He tried really, really hard. He's a very sweet horse, and um, so I was super pleased with that. Um, but he is green, and he is spooky, and he's a bit cheeky, and so I didn't know how he would deal with the whole cross-country course and starting off in the derby field and, you know, being that horse. Mm -hmm. And so I've been riding with Boyd over the jumps and um, cross-country, and, um, you know, he would, had some very specific instructions for me in my warm-up and going on a course, and so... It was nice that I was able to execute and do that. And then today, um, walked the show jumping course, and you know, I was hoping that he wouldn't take too much notice of the atmosphere. He hasn't yeah. done a lot. He's only been competing uh, this year. He did some eventing in Ireland, or some show jumping in Ireland before he came here, but not a whole lot. And so this has been his first year eventing, and he went in and he acted like an old pro, and I couldn't be happier with him. Mm -hmm. He was just super all weekend, all week, I guess. And what are some of his strengths? Obviously, you guys are a relatively new partnership if he's just a year or so in the States. What do you think he's improved on and what are some of his strengths for you? When we first got him, he was quite crooked okay. and, and liked to bend to the left mm -hmm. all the time. And occasionally, he still likes to bend to the left, but yep. he's getting straighter and straighter all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and he tends to get very slow in his canter, especially when he's show jumping. Like, I have to think about continuing to press around the turns and keep my canter going around the turns because it's very easy for him to come around the turns and sort of stall and then I have no canter and then I have to do something and then that mm -hmm. creates a problem and yep. so that was one of my, I, Boyd has been having Richard Pickin come in and I've showed jumped a lot with him mm -hmm. and you know one of Richard's main goals has been keep your canter through the turns, keep the power, keep the RPMs through the turns mm -hmm. and that really helped me today. And looking at obviously where you started with him and what your goals are looking forward what could this possibly lead to um, after this week well he's owned by a group of individuals um, which I'm very fortunate to have and we're looking for more owners but my business um, you all may know or not know is selling horses and so I've had to sell most of my competition horses to fund my breeding business and to fund well doing this mm -hmm. and so um, I have put together a group of owners and we the goal is to get to Rolex with him that's mm -hmm. the goal and um, he has a lot of talent and I think a lot of people would have said move him up you know go up and do some preliminaries mm -hmm. and you know talking to Boyd and Sylvan and Richard we've been this horse has a lot of talent and we want to really put the education on him and so we've kept him at training mm -hmm. and done a lot with him and as I was telling Allison, we went to Millbrook, and he was in third going into the show jumping, and he ticked the last fence I jumped before I went into warm-up. He ticked it, and it wasn't a hard rub, and he didn't do anything wrong, and the pole jumped up between his legs, and I landed, and he landed on his face because the pole locked his legs. And so um, that was three weeks ago, and you know I took it easy for the first two weeks, and I was very fortunate that Sydney was able to keep him in work. And, um, everything but um, you know he's still he's still green mm -hmm. and I have really high hopes for him and I, I adore him as an individual he's very sweet he's very different than my advanced horse who is kind of a grumbly old man mm -hmm. and um, so it's nice to have him in the bar. Mm -hmm. And did he come back and show up a little bit nervous at all or did he? Actually no it was like it was the perfect rub like it was the perfect <laughs> rub if he could have stood up on the back side of the jump um no he actually the first show jumping school he had he jumped great which was wonderful because i was a little bit like okay well what are, what are we gonna what have? are we gonna have and 
Sydney didn't want to jump in, and, and so we waited until I was feeling better. And um, mm -hmm. so we had one school, sort of an easy school, and then Richard was in town, and we did a harder school, and then I, we jumped one more time with Boyd, I think, mm -hmm. um, cross country. But uh, he's just very genuine. Like, he wants to do the right thing, and I think he was as surprised to hit the ground as I was. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I think he honestly was like, what just happened? How did, how did I get here? So... Mm -hmm. But I, I was extremely fortunate. He didn't get hurt. I didn't get hurt, mm -hmm. except for, you know, a lot of road rage and a little bit of a headache. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, we were all, we were all very lucky, and and he's just a super horse. I'm really, really lucky. Mm -hmm. So.